with a passion for innovation and change in the agro-processing sector in Africa. Adiola Balogun set on a mission to help reduce post-harvest losses in Nigeria. Lim Lim Food Production Company is the first company in Nigeria to convert locally grown produce into freeze-dried snacks and vegetable powders, thereby bridging the gap between the farmers, the producers and the consumers. My name is Coco Lawrence and this is Spotlight Nigeria. We start with washing our hands. Oh, okay. We take safety very important. Okay. So you have to follow our safety rules nice. since you are entering a food facility. Being a chartered accountant, Adiola Balogun had worked for several years in the corporate world, with over two decades of experience working in various capacities with three leading financial institutions in Nigeria. She was ready to start her own business. Okay, so I'd always had this flair uh, to do something else. Um, I'd given myself a timeline at work, and I remember in those days they would tell me, why do you want to leave? And I'm like, I have a timeline already. If I don't reach a certain milestone, I was leaving. And I knew I had it in me to do, um, I mean, agro processing. Um, I wanted to, funny enough, I wanted to be a fashion designer. But my husband was like, he's into agri, so he was like, go into food. He thought I would get tired of it. So he said, go into food and all that. And I said, okay, let me try. I started with plantain chips. And I said, why should I have to eat plantain chips? Plantains dunk in oil. One of the better ways of um, eating plantains or bananas. And that was how we started. And we started giving out samples to people out there and they would ask for more. And that was how we started. And that was what drove us into um, getting bigger. With a passion for driving innovation, change and food security in the agro-food processing value chain in Africa, Adiola Balogun set out to help reduce post-harvest losses in Nigeria. Post-harvest losses have always been a challenge to farmers and threat to food security. As of 2023, the federal government disclosed that the total cost of post-harvest losses in Nigeria's agricultural industry is 3.5 trillion naira. It also ordered that for fruits and vegetables, losses could be as high as 50 to 60 percent. Okay, so it's like a paradox. Here we have on one hand, farmers are saying they're losing 2.2 billion. That's the famous figure of um, post, um, due to lack of post-service processing. And here you have food processors also saying they're having difficulty with getting ingredients to use for their, for their products. Um, the biggest issue was minimum order quantity. And you'd see the people importing will say you have to buy in X volumes. And we had a lot of startups that could not meet those volumes. And I thought, okay, the only thing stopping us was equipment. So let me bring in the equipment and let's make a mark. Let's showcase how Nigerian products can be used for a lot of beautiful products. And I'm sure you've eaten some of them, but without knowing that our ingredients are in, in what you've taken. And so we started taking things like mangoes, we turned them into powders, and um, like balumo, we turned them into powders and snacks. Um, every fruit, name any fruits in Nigeria, I, I can beat our chest to say we have done it. We've turned them into powders or snacks, and they're being used in a lot of um, industries. And so we've been able to help farmers bridge that gap um, in, I mean, reducing post harvest losses. Lim Lim Foods Production Company is the first company in Nigeria to convert locally grown produce into freeze dried fruit snacks and vegetable powders. It recently successfully produced freeze dried egg powder as well as a ready to drink pepper soup range, being the pioneer in Nigeria. I have this bit of a adventurous streak in me um, so we would, when we go for holidays i would ensure whatever city we were going into i would look for the fairs happening in those areas and so in there was the particular one i think it was the food uh, 
food manufacturing in Dubai that we went for and I saw the array of powders, food powders being used. And I begin to think that in Nigeria, we have all these kind of fruits in Nigeria and we can turn them into this. I mean, all I needed to do was to get in the equipment, like I said earlier. And so we started that journey. Um, it's taken us about three years and we've, we've gone one by one, all the fruits per region, grown locally, and we've turned them into powders. And so um, right now you see them using them in smoothies, in baby food, in baking, in face, um, facial care and so many things like that. And now we're now seeing with the Naira, with the Naira devaluation, you're now seeing um, corporates now coming to meet us to say, can we localize this volume for them? One of the ways Lim Lim Food Production Company is helping farmers mitigate post-harvest losses is freeze drying. Freezing has been successfully employed for the long-term preservation of many foods, providing a significantly extended shelf life. So let me say freeze drying. Freeze drying is the best form of processing of um, produce worldwide. Um, our products can stand side by side comfortably with any products across the world. Um, so freeze drying maintains the structure and keeps the product nutrients intact. Meaning that if you put it in water, you can barely tell the difference between the processed and the raw products. It goes back to its pre-state. Um, so egg powder started during COVID, where there was a uh, restriction of movement. And so we had farmers in Oyo State, they couldn't bring their eggs to Lagos. Even those that were in Lagos couldn't sell because there were no occasions to consume eggs. And so they had a lot of eggs and farmers were burying their eggs. And we had two state governments reach out to us to say, what can we do to help them, you know, converting these eggs into powders? And that's when we started the um, experiment. And Lagos State supported us with the World Bank project and we're able to produce egg powder uh, in large quantities um, in three variants. We had it in egg white, egg yolk and old egg. And now you ask me, what are they used for? So these are used for a lot of biscuits you eat contain egg powder. A lot of the mayonnaise you eat, uh, mayonnaise contains egg powder. Chin Chin contains egg powder, cakes, ice cream contain egg powder, shampoo and all that. So a, a whole lot of uses. And there's nothing stopping the likes of the big bakers from using egg powder because it gives them standardization in their processing. So instead of breaking one egg, one has, one has gone off. And now start thinking, okay, how do I penetrate? How do I manage this? But with egg powder, you know that one cup of egg gives me X amount or can be used for X amount of stuff. So that's the whole idea behind egg powder. Um, in regards to um, pepper soup, pepper soup is one of the three, three products from Nigeria, three foods from Nigeria that is very popular. And we felt those in the diaspora, there was this gap for them. People want convenience and you want healthy meals and you want something that reminds you of home. And we said, okay, let's try this. And I remember the first day we tried, my mother was like, what are you doing, this girl? The ones you are doing, concentrate on what That was like something was burning in me to say, go for it. And so I said, okay, let's try this. And we tried. And the samples we sent out, people were like, wow, is this a miracle? I remember there was a big influencer that reached out to us on Instagram and said, she saw one magic right now. That, <laughs> are we sure that it's happening? And then we had people across the world calling in for it. And so far, it's been an amazing product. Like I said, that we had done virtually everything grown in Nigeria. So we've done fruits, uh, we've done fruits, we've done vegetables, we've done the herbal range, uh, we've done the savory range. Um, so fruits like um, soursop, agbalumo, even the cashew fruits. Cashew fruit contains more vitamin C than oranges. We've done oranges, we've done watermelon, we've done tiger nut milk, like powder, you just put it in water like powdered milk. We've done vegetables, all the vegetables you can talk of, broccoli, cauliflower, cabbage. We export our cabbage flour and then an aubergine flour to, to the UK and Australia. So banana was one I spoke about that was a big one for us because when banana goes ripe, there's no use for it in Nigeria. But we're able to convert ripe banana into powders that is used for baby food and oatmeal. Uh, we've done savouries like chicken powder, fish powder, Name it, cola nut, bitter cola, all sorts, everything. Um, avocado, it's crazy. <laughs> but all these are grown locally in Nigeria. And we're able to showcase that they can be used for other things. The agricultural food processing industry is one of the largest and most promising industries worldwide, with an estimated growth to $1.4 trillion by 2024. 
at a CJR of 4.3%. The large market size of the industry is based on its multifacetedness and because foods are an essential factor. It's actually profitable, although of late things have been tough, um, given the, the dollar and the, um, the deregulation in the um, petroleum sector is affected everything. Prices have gone off the roof. Um, it's no longer, the profit margins are really, really slim. You're playing it very, very slim now, but it's still very profitable because you're adding value. As long as you're adding value to any post, any raw material, then that's where the money is. Um, so yeah, it is very profitable. It's something people should look into. It's a blue ocean. There's so much to be done because, you know, I, in my past life would import about 75% of the ingredients were being imported. And whilst our local farmers were suffering locally, so it wasn't making sense. So it's, that's where the money is. Lim Lim Food Production Company partners and works with farms as their off-takers and work closely with other food manufacturers as their natural food ingredient supplier. They work with food processors from product conception stage to product launches by providing them with customized best in-class products that can compete favorably with world standards. But this doesn't come without challenges. Oh, where do I start from? You're, you're responsible for your own power, your own water, your own staffing, um, getting to the farms before we go to the farms, we go to we go everywhere we go because we have to know the farms for traceability. So we visit these farms to see what they're doing, how they are practicing, just to understand. So when we're ordering, placing orders, we, we have an idea of what is happening in the mark in the on the farmland. So we go to the farms. Um, so you do all this is risky. Uh, sometimes we go to farm, farmers markets in the southwest, meaning that you have to leave your hotels as early as about 5:30 in the morning. And given all the security issues happening in Nigeria, that's very risky. But we needed to do those adventures. We needed to have those in our, um, is it our dossier to say that we have ticked the boxes. Uh, but we had to stop when the security issues were getting more. So we put a stop to it. But we've gone to quite a number of our farms um, to see how um, they're done. So you do all that, your power, your light, your staffing. Staffing is crazy. Um, the time, uh, the high turnover is crazy. Jackpa has affected us also. Um, yeah, and then funding, of course, to scale. We're at the point where now we're oh, we're talking to partners because we need to scale. We need to move up from where we are. We need to build a bigger factory to be able to meet the demands from our clients. I think the big one is security. Government needs to fix security. We can't fix it. It's something government needs to fix, and they need to do it fast. Um, like the president said, we have a food security crisis. It's a big crisis. Things have gone off the roof. Uh, with the Niger war, produce are not even coming in from the north. So it's even tough. It's worse now. Prices are going crazy. A bag of carrots that we used to buy back then for 8,000 went as high as 85,000 naira. Government needs to fix security as a matter of utmost urgency. After security, they just need to create an enabling environment for us. Fix the roads. We're not asking for much. Fix the roads. They are basics. Give us security. Fix the roads. Every other thing will fall in place. If we have good roads and then power. Those three things. Security, roads and power. Every other thing will fall in place. Funding will come in. People will, Nigerians, we are very creative. And we have so much natural resources within us. So just fix those three. Security, power and the roads. And we're good to go. Okay, so I'm going to show you how you can use uh, freeze-dried fruits and use them to make a smoothie okay. in the morning for like breakfast or whatever. I'll just demonstrate to you how you can um, use it. So yeah, so you can have your blender. Your blender, just open it. Um, you can start with water. Okay. Pour some water. Yep. Add some ice. So open one pack of banana. So the contents and then we pour it in. Um, mango. And then let's try pineapple. Then 
let me add some strawberries just for flavor. And now let the blender do its magic. So your smoothie is ready. So no stress of cutting man mangoes, no. strawberries, yeah. no. pineapples, no. and uh, uh, bananas. <laughs> bananas. Okay, oh, so... God. And it's so thick. And you can make it um, thinner as you wish. Yeah, as you wish. Mm -hmm. okay. So, bon appetit. Oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are going to be taking um, fruits in a dried form and yes. put it in smoothie. Yes. And I love smoothies. So, let's see what this is. Okay. Like. I'll look forward to your taste, yes. <laughs> your feedback. Be nice. <laughs> <laughs> what can you taste? <laughs> I can taste the mangoes. The the strawberries, the banana. You know, mangoes are a very, very powerful food. But mm -hmm. it's how the consistency and this is the first time that I'm trying this. So now we are not in the mango season. Mm -hmm. uh, strawberries can only be gotten uh, maybe in the knots. And now we're not food. in the season. And we're not in the season. But with this dry, drying this food, it, it always is always in season and it reduces the post harvest losses. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, brings a lot of markets mm -hmm. into the into the system mm -hmm. and this can be taken out of the country mm -hmm. in the country and I love it. And you can see how thick it, it became. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's just like you're feeling like you took the fresh thing and you blended it. Exactly, but how be it preserved? How be it preserved? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I want to make egg egg, um, egg omelet with bread, something fun for you can use for the kids and all that. So I have some egg powder here. So I'm going to show you how. So just open the pack and um, just measure out two heaped tablespoons of egg powder. I think that should suffice. You can just put a bit for jarasha. And then I have this omelette machine here. So I'm just going to oil it and just keep it oiled. But just like you would do your frying of eggs. Just do everything like normal, and then we'll watch the magic happen. I want to show you abracadabra. <laughs> so into your eggs, you would put in some water, eyeball it, okay. um, and then just to constitute the eggs, yeah, and just mix. Meanwhile, I already have some. Uh, a mix of pepper, um, onions, and stuff that you normally use for your eggs already fried. So you can just put that. Depending on your, you can add some green vegetables as you wish, and as, as you wish. And so, um, it doesn't matter if it doesn't, if you still have some lumps. It's for your eggs. There's no issue. So we'll just put in some. Typically, I should wait a while for it to melt, but it's okay. So I'm just going to put some in here. Then I cut the bread just for razzmatazz. Mm -hmm. okay. And then put the rest of the mixture on top. And then just cover the machine and let it do its magic. You have the egg ready to go. Like, you know, it's already packaged. And you know, sometimes you have some eggs that go bad. So this is the old idea. idea. That's the old idea. idea. And then we've had people that traveled. You know, recently there was a egg crisis globally. So I had people that went to the UK and, you know, don't know where going, they packed some. Uh, some of my clients took in the egg, egg powder and some didn't, but they were like, ah, oh, 
this thing saved our lives though, because they were they were rationing eggs in the UK at some point, so it came in useful for them. And this has the expiry date is minimum of one year. So and if you look at it in retrospect, if you were to uh, convert the number of eggs, I would make this. Um, you have about um, 12 eggs inside here. So 12 eggs would typically cost you at 150 naira an egg. Will cost you about 1006 or 1007, and this one goes for 2000 naira. So you ask yourself the cost of convenience, this, uh, this, you know, keeping eggs, it goes bad, and then, you know, you have to quickly eat the eggs yes. as the gains having for your convenience. So, so we'll now turn it. These are fun ways to have your eggs. It doesn't have to be the boring bread and butter. And then you just wait another one or two minutes and it's ready. But but this egg powder, it's um dirty egg powder. So we have whole egg. I saw that was good. This is old egg. Uh, we have egg, yeah, yes. the whole egg. Yes. This is the uh, egg whites. Oh hi, hi, you This is the egg whites. This is the white part of the egg. This is the albumen. Okay. Um, so so then if you if you carry it now, it's heavier. Yeah. Because yolk is heavier. And this is lighter. It's lighter, it's crispier, and all that. So yeah, and this is this is used by athletes. Use no, this is the one they use in mayonnaise. Okay. This is used by athletes. It's good. Okay. It has a lighter protein, which is beneficial. And those trying to lose weight, yeah. you know, you can put them in your smoothies and, and have it for for breakfast. Yeah. And they use it for light. And this egg. is the old egg. Yeah. That's what we have here. Yeah. Okay. So it's ready. The breakfast is or brunch, I said. <laughs> it's pure eggs. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it's pure eggs now. Nothing else was added to it. So do you see yourself having this? Oh, I do. <laughs> But the amazing part is how you can have everything for everyone. For those that want to lose weight, from the egg, uh, the white egg, egg yolk, to the egg, the alpha man, and then the whole egg. And what we have here is the whole egg. You know, fancy ways and fun ways to... <laughs> So the pepper soup so just cut it or you can tear it open and the content you just empty it into a pack like that and you pour hot water very spare And your pepper soup is ready. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> hmm? And the fish is as fresh as like you, you just made fish. Okay, so these mangoes, when they come fresh, you buy them when they are in season, and then we pulp them. We, rem we peel the skin, and then we pulp them, and pack them in bags like this, and freeze them. So we have freezers and blast to um, chilling rooms where the pulp mangoes are stored. Okay, this is how we are able to have supplies all year round. And then we now cut them into small bits, and then put them on the trays, and load them in the machine. So these mangoes could have been a year old, but because we've done freezing is a form of preservation also. So this way we're helping farmers reduce post-harvest losses. So you can offtake when it's in season. 
as long as it meets our quality requirement. So that's coconut milk and we turned it into powder. And so much is definitely happening in there from freezing to drying, packaging, so much potential and versatility in Nigeria's food industry. And that's what the CEO of Lim Lim Food Production Company, Adiola Balogu, is doing and is still doing within Nigeria's food value chain. Well, that's how it's been on Spotlight Nigeria. My name is Coco Lawrence. See you next time. Bye for now.